I am John Barton, and I was at uh, Czech at the time. I did a show called Barton and Company, mornings, five days a week. I think we went 26 weeks a year for five or six years. I think that works out to something like 700 shows. Talk shows, interviews, funny stuff, good stuff. Okay. It was interviews, what was going on in Victoria. Uh, as far as I know, uh, it was one of the first shows of its kind to do that sort of thing. It was the walk on Jay Leno, David Letterman, Johnny Carson, that sort of format. No live music, but we did some great cooking segments, huge cooking segments, uh, and uh, was able to uh, call upon the services of some of the great chefs from the Empress Hotel. Just wonderful people with great skills. I think the fact that so many curves were thrown and I was able to go back and sort of rely on my radio broadcasting background and morning shows all over Canada, just kind of feel how we were going, wing it, try to salvage it, <laughs> try to keep it together in one piece and get through the darn thing. I think the, I think the spontaneity of it. Uh, well, that was, uh, let's see, 75 to 81. There was a big thing going on in music at that time and I can remember, I think it was Little Richard who was on the show one day, and we also had as another guest uh, a fellow, a stuntman from the movie business. And he had taken me aside before the show and shown me how to receive a punch and fall over backwards and get up and do it to him. Little Richard is sitting right over here, our stuntman, I don't recall his name, is sitting over there. And I said something, he said, I don't particularly like that talk, Barton. And he walked over, reached across the deck, grabbed me by the collar, and smacked me. Of course, he missed. He'll hold one hand up and slap it with the other one. But well rehearsed, I guess. And I tumbled over backwards, jumped up, grabbed him, did the same thing. Little Richard is having a fit. He got up and ran out of the, out of the studio, screaming, get me out of here. Where's my manager? You didn't say this was going to happen. What's next? And that, I think, probably sticks closer than anything. Yeah. <laughs> Had some great times with musical people, too. Louise Rose and a lot of them. Uh, not that I can think of, falling down, uh, on not, not rehearsed, stumbling into the, f you know, the, 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 I got a black and white photograph here of those <laughs> wonderful days, a much thinner, darker, more suave John than there is today, uh, stumbling down the stairs a few times, but uh, we just kept it going. Hang loose and swing easy, for some reason, sounds corny as the devil today, but hey, t till tomorrow, hang loose and swing easy was something that we used sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, until they, they stopped me. I had completed a series of game shows with uh, Chan, uh, BCTV, well he had, had long since be, not been on a Chan, uh, before we had moved to the island and Bill Elliott, who was programming uh, BCTV, asked if I would do a show in Victoria since we were moving over there. Uh, tons and tons of sort of on-camera background and stuff like that, so I jumped at the chance. I loved the fact that the station had an enormous profile in the market. It was just extremely successful, highly thought of, shows that you wouldn't think would draw flies, but they were local and everybody watched. I think it was an extremely powerful experience. Czech TV is right at the top of all the wonderful things I did, and I'm not just saying there because you're paying me so much to sit here and say <laughs> it, God knows. Uh, no, it was a wonderful experience. Uh, it was my first opportunity to sit down and just talk, not using prepared scripts, or a game show. I did a show called What's the Good Word for years and years on the CTV network. But that was, it wasn't rehearsed, but everything was preset. Everything was organized. Uh, we had directors, floor directors, people whispering in my ear, uh, all over the place. This was wing at time. Floor director who was an absolute godsend, who kept me posted as to time availability and things like that. So this was wonderful. I'm constantly bumping into people who sort of say, I thought I thought I knew you, and it's a wonderful, wonderful imprint to make. They're getting fewer and fewer, by the way. But we live in Qualicum Beach right now, and our way up to uh, um, Mount Washington one time, we stopped in for a beer at Fanny Bay, the Fanny Bay Inn. We're sitting there enjoying ourselves. This is maybe 10 years after the show ended, so we're talking about 1990, 10 or 15 years ago at least. A fella came out of the men's room, hammered. And as he walked past the table, he leaned over us, there was about four of us sitting there on our way up to do some skiing, and he pointed at me and said, excuse me, <clears throat> but didn't you used to be somebody? And uh, that hurts, that really <laughs> hurts. <laughs>
Hi, I'm John Barden, and for a number of years, from 75 to 81, I did a talk show on then Czech TV called Bartman Company. What a wonderful experience, what a wonderful station. Congratulations on your 50th anniversary.